Today on the channel, I'm talking about a brand called Akakapa from Italy. We're going to talk about three fragrances from Akakapa, and those are Muscio Blanco in this box, Black Pepper and Sandalwood in this box, and also Calicanthus in this box. You're also going to have a chance at winning one of these fragrances of your choice if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA or Canada, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, discovering new fragrances, new brands, and participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So Akakapa is a brand that I first discovered in the late 2000s. Now I was visiting Vancouver and I stayed in a hotel and in that hotel they had Akakapa products. So that was my very first experience with this brand, but I've noted since so I've noted about them since then, but I've only recently started uh, following them and discovering their fragrances at uh, some of the trade shows or the perfume fairs I've gone to. So they reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing their fragrances and I said, "Sure. How about these three fragrances that I'm really, really curious about. And so those fragrances are, as mentioned, Muscio Blanco, which basically translates to uh, white moss. So this is a musky, clean fragrance. And one of the reasons, since I've been really enjoying a lot of musky fragrances, I requested this. Another one that is a, a very popular that from this brand, a more uh, current release. Um, actually, this came out in 2010, I believe. Uh, I didn't put the... No, 2012, uh, but this one came out in 2014, uh, about four years ago. The, this is Black Pepper and Sandalwood, and this is created by Luca Maffei, who is a perfumer I've spoken about on this channel, if you've been following, if you've been following me. So there's that one. And then the other one I requested is Calicanthus. It's a, it's a flower. Calicanthus is a flower. And this is probably the most feminine of the three, whereas the first two are unisex. is probably is uh, more feminine leaning. But this one smells great. It's fresh and it's floral. So let's go ahead and start with the Muscio Blanco. Again, this is launched in 2012. It's EDP concentration, retails for $125 and 100 mil. But what they've sent me here is the 50 mil. And uh, as I mentioned, I love musks and clean musks. So this is one of the reasons why I requested it. And uh, White Moss or Muscio Blanco was recently featured in my 25 Musk Fragrances video. So this is the bottle. Love, love, love this bottle. And actually I love the bottles of Akakapa. They're very masculine, kind of classically inspired looking bottles. And what I like about the bottles also is they have the name uh, on the bottle right there. So it's kind of, you know, uh, made into the glass, which is awesome. So this came out in 2012. Top notes are lemon, bergamot, juniper, citrus accord, uh, heart notes of aldehyde notes, cardamom, lavender, sweet woods, and base notes of white musk, amber accord, cedar wood, and musks. So let's go ahead and spray it and then I'll tell you all about it because this is a really, really great fragrance. If you love a clean, clean musk, this is definitely one for you to try. Now, you might be into more of a, an amalic musk lover rather than a clean musk lover, but this is definitely on the clean side. It's ultra clean and very, very fresh. Now it does start lemony and, um, what do you call it, uh, citrusy at the top because you've got that lemon and bergamot, but that juniper berry, it just gives it like this like slight bit of peppery uh, zing to it, but then you still have uh, that citrus accord as well. So it's very, very vibrant and um, zingy at the top. So you've got lots of citrus and that juniper berry. In the heart, you do pick up that cardamom. That cardamom is pretty big. It's bigger than that lavender note and it does get a little bit woody, creamy as well. And then in the base, it's the white musk and then you got the amber accord and you have that cedar wood and more musk. So, it's so clean, so, so clean. If you love clean fragrances, uh, this is definitely one of the cleanest fragrances that I've put my nose on. It's, it's actually quite phenomenal. I mean, 
Um, there are people, I mean, there's all kinds of moods with fragrances. Sometimes you want something a little dirty. Sometimes you want something very clean. And this is, like I said, ultra, ultra clean. It's, it's, it's awesome. So if you don't know this one, check it out. It's Musho Blanco, basically translates to a white moss. Um, I recommend it. So $125 for 100 ml. This is the 50 ml bottle and it is EDP concentration. So check it out. All right, so the next one we're going to try is the one called Black Pepper and Sandalwood. So we love black pepper fragrances, I love those. And then of course Sandalwood. Been really, really enjoying Sandalwood and you've been seeing I've been doing some reviews for Sandalwood fragrances. So here's another Sandalwood, but this one adds that twist of the black pepper. So this came out in 2014, created by Luca Maffei, and this is $110 for 100 ml. Now I got these prices and information from the Akakapa website, and they do have distribution here in the States, so you can go there directly and buy from them. And here we've got bergamot, elemi, davana, saffron, cloves, nutmeg, balsam fir in the top. In the heart you have Rosa Damaskina, cinnamon, black pepper, agar wood, and base notes of patchouli, Haitian vetiver, sandalwood, Virginia cedar wood, cypriol, and black musk. So pretty, pretty complex with this one. And uh, it smells great, actually. The black pepper and the sandalwood together are magic. So let's go ahead and spray that one. Right away, bergamot, but then gets resinous from that elemi at the top. The elemi is kind of a... I mean, I'm not saying it's an acquired taste, but uh, it does, it's a resin, but there's a unique smell to the Elemi uh, resin. And I don't see it too much in fragrances. Here it adds this like unique twist to the fragrance, which I like because as I said, I don't smell um, uh, Elemi quite frequently in fragrances. So I like it once in a while when it pops up in a fragrance. But then you have cloves, the cloves are pretty big. It's, it's uh, spicy a little bit, so that clove and uh, the nutmeg are pretty big here with that balsam fir. So you do smell a little bit like you're walking in like a redwood forest with the, the balsam fir at the top. Um, there's get a little rosy, uh, but not too much. The rose and the cinnamon actually work so well together in the heart with this one. And there's something, I don't know if it's a subconscious thing, the packaging and everything is red. Of course, the label is red as well. But the fragrance does have this redness about it. Again, I'm saying, I'm not sure if it's subconscious because I'm, I'm already seeing the red box and the red label, but it does have a kind of a red smell to it. Just, I don't know. But, um, so you have that black pepper in the heart that comes with that cinnamon, of course, and the rose, and then the agar wood comes through, but the agar wood or the oud is not so big here. It's kind of faint, but you pick up some traces of it because it does add a, this more unique layer to it because we've been talking about sandalwood fragrances where they're mostly about sandalwood. Here, it's, it's kind of like a, a really interesting uh, concoction because you do have that sandalwood and it's not only about the sandalwood, but it's also about the black pepper. But then you also have all these complex layers of different notes that come in and come out that kind of make it a little more exciting, whereas you want a sandalwood fragrance, but you don't want to just stick to that simple, straightforward sandalwood. You want some complexity and some unique twists to it. So that's the kind of thing that this, that's the kind of uh, fragrance this is. And then finally in the base, you pick up a little bit of the, um, the vetiver, the sandalwood like really kicks in now. And you got a little bit of the, like a cedar type note, but it's more about the sandalwood. And then, um, uh, some cypriol, but then it's, there's that black musk in here as well. So it doesn't get animalic, it's still very clean. It does get peppery and it does get very woody. The sandalwood here, it is the, uh, it is the more creamy variety. It's not so dusty or dry, if that makes sense. So if you like a creamy sandalwood, but with that kick of that uh, black pepper and with all those unique twists, then um, black pepper and sandalwood is definitely one you should try from Akakapa. All right, so last but not least, we're going with Calicanthus. This one right here, this was launched in 2003. This is the oldest fragrance. It retails for $125 as 100 ml. So you've got here Calicanthus flower blended with notes of jasmine, orange blossom, honey, and musk. So it's definitely floral. And this one is definitely uh, definitely more feminine leaning, but if you like floral fragrances, uh, then definitely try this one because it's it's a 
it's pretty really I mean it's really great um, it's actually perfect for heat waves and summertime you just have to be into that floral uh, type of a fragrance but it is very fresh and floral if that makes sense so let's go ahead and spray this one now I don't know too much about Calicanthus flower so if you know what it is please put it down in the info box so I can find out I mean I did a little bit of research but I didn't like um, in the, uh, what do you call it I didn't like like study it too much where I, I learned a lot about it. I just did a quick research on it just to see what it is because of course you have a fragrance called Calicanthus but you don't know what Calicanthus is. So it's a flower. Okay, four sprays on this one. The first one didn't spray as good. Oh my God, I'm smelling it already. It's very, very fresh. The orange flower or orange blossom is big. The jasmine is big and I'm just smelling it. I'm not even putting it to my nose. It does have this sweetness to it from that honey. And then I'm assuming it'll dry down to more of a, like a clean musk because I'm smelling lots of clean notes here. Um, wow, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's really, really gorgeous. This actually kind of reminds me of fragrances from the Dior, Diorissimo. You know that fragrance from Dior? Kind of like those floral fragrances. It's, it's about, um, uh, Lily of the Valley and Ylang Ylang and things like that and Calicanthus maybe reminds me of maybe Ylang Ylang or Lily of the Valley it kind of smells like that so if you like those kind of fragrances this is definitely one to try it's gorgeous actually really really gorgeous now if you like freshies with flowers this is the kind of uh, fragrance you should try and once again uh, here's a little more uh, information about the, these bottles these bottles are truly awesome looking bottles um, and on the side you have that Akakapa as you can see and on the top you have the logo of Akakapa here as well so but I just find even though this is a feminine fragrance I find the bottle since it's square very very masculine so I mean, you look at it, oh, is this a men's fragrance? I mean, you'll say, okay, this is a men's cologne, I'll wear it. Then you go like, oh, it's floral, maybe it's not. But I love the fact that these are on the square side, very, very masculine. I could see this on a, uh, you know, a dresser somewhere, just looking gorgeous. They, they just look great. And uh, part of a, a fragrance brand uh, for me to really like draw me in is their packaging. And I love the packaging, especially the presentation here with these awesome looking bottles. And uh, I love that about it. So when, when that happens, when I see a fragrance brand and I love the packaging, it draws me in to explore a brand more. Whereas if I'm exploring the fragrances and I come to a brand and I don't like the, the packaging, it turns me off, then I kind of don't even want to explore the fragrances. That's a, that's a bad thing, but um, sometimes I think people don't put too much time into, you know, creating the presentation as good as it can be. So here with Akakapa, I think they've done an amazing job with the presentation and absolutely love these bottles. Um, as I said, uh, there's a giveaway as well. So you'll have a chance at winning one of these three fragrances um, here. So all you have to do is put a comment down and let me know which fragrance sounds the best to you. And depending on which fragrance you choose, if you choose this one, uh, Musho Blanco, which is white moss, let me know which is your favorite musk fragrance uh, currently. If you choose the black pepper and sandalwood as the one that you would prefer, uh, please let me know what your favorite sandalwood fragrance is currently. And if you pick Calicanthus, as the one of your choice to, if you are the winner, please let me know what your favorite floral fragrance is currently in addition. So put those two things down and please put your country, either USA or Canada, so that I can qualify you for this giveaway. And otherwise, guys, good luck with the giveaway. One winner will pick their favorite fragrance that I've discussed today. Just let me know in general, are you familiar with Akakapa? Have you tried their fragrances? Do you currently own any of their fragrances? And what do you think about them? Or if you've been thinking about buying or you know sampling their fragrances, let me know what that is as well. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.